Did bro just de himself? So, I'm gonna say it for the first time in my life. Huh? So this is this guy, Master Ugly. I've seen a couple of his videos before, You're scrolling around YouTube shorts when I'm laying in bed at night. And recently he got into some controversy where he released a song recently and the song is just called Adolf Hitler is my N-word. He's a SoundCloud rapper and this is one of the songs he decides to make. Listen to the song, not really all that funny and i think that's basically the gist of what it, most of his content is nowadays he just tries to say the most outlandish shit that he possibly can to either make people upset or because he thinks it's genuinely funny but there's really nothing all that funny about him saying that adolf hitler is his n-word because there's no build-up there's no punchline he literally starts off the song by saying that exact phrase he says the title of the song within the song and he also says he's hanging out with his n-words winnie the pooh and tigger and that his retarded son is an alcoholic and there's just nothing funny about the song it's not entertaining it doesn't sound very good honestly his flow is kind of bad as well but that's not really the point that i'm trying to make here the point that i'm trying to make here is that he released his song he's been making all these different types of videos where he's saying the actual word he makes an apology video for falling off apparently and for saying the words that he does and then he goes on twitter and then he proceeds to have an absolute fucking meltdown where he's doubling down saying oh what i did wasn't all that bad you know you forgave these other people for the stuff that they did all those years ago but why is it when i do this one thing why is it that i'm the one who's bad and some of the examples that i'm gonna go ahead and use for the video are pewdiepie pewdiepie got into some controversy where he did indeed say the n-word when he was playing PUBG and he was on a bridge it's a very infamous bridge that all of us know and yeah he says the n-word and no one is saying that what he did was right but the difference here is the fact that he apologized immediately afterwards he immediately knew that him saying the n-word was messed up and that he shouldn't have said it and that it shouldn't have come out of his mouth at all and he suffered a lot of consequences for this youtube itself suffered a lot of consequences for this i believe that this was actually the start and the beginning of the adpocalypse that happened a few years ago during like that 2017 era of youtube where a lot of people's videos were starting to get demonetized and they weren't able to monetize more edgy-ish content and it all started when pewdiepie said the n-word on that bridge and it pretty much just went from a downward spiral and the difference being the point is that pewdiepie apologized for it never said it again and moved on from that Whereas you on your Twitter account are doubling down for saying this exact same thing. You're saying the N-word, but the difference is that you're doubling down and it's not funny. Nothing that you're doing with this word is funny. You're trying to do dark humor, but there's nothing funny about you saying the N-word. There's no punchline. There's literally nothing to it other than the fact that you're, you're a non-black man saying the N-word. There's nothing funny about it. What the fuck is the joke? Another example that he also uses on Twitter is a picture of Logan Paul in the Suicide Forest saying, if he can be forgiven, I can too. And the difference here as well is the fact that nobody has actually really forgiven him for what he did in the Suicide Forest. He suffered massive backlash for this, for doing this, posting the video, everything. And he still suffers from the consequences, not only that, but also a recent controversy that he got in, which was with CryptoZoo and the fact that he got into cryptocurrency, said he was going to make a game that involved cryptocurrency, and then proceeded to scam thousands and thousands of his fans out of hundreds and thousands of dollars. And even after saying that he was going to pay back his fans the money that they had scanned from them, he still to this day has never done it, despite making millions and millions of dollars off of Prime every single month. I'm not really sure why you use Logan Paul as an example, as someone who was forgiven on the platform, but then it gets even worse, and he then says, if this man can be forgiven, I can be forgiven too. And he shows EDP 445, or Eat That Cupcake 445. I'm sure that this is a joke, but I'm gonna go ahead and just take it at face value anyways. Nobody is forgiven EDP. Everyone absolutely fucking despises this man. Everyone absolutely hates him, and he's banned on every single platform on the entirety of the internet, no one wants him back. Nobody likes him. Everybody despises him because of the multiple times and the multiple accusations of him trying to meet up with minors to have sex with them. That's what he did. And I'm not really sure why he used this. Again, it's probably a joke, right? And I acknowledge that it was probably a joke. But again, it's not really all that funny because you're using someone who is an actual predator and try to do terrible things as a defense for your actions. 
And that's not funny. An example of edgy humor and edgy-ish content being entertaining and being funny would... The example that I would use specifically is when iDubbbz did the content cop on Tana Mojo. He says the n-word while taking a picture with her over at a meetup that she did way, way, few like way long time ago, like a few years ago. And basically, like he goes up and walks up to her, and then they get ready to take a picture with her. And instead, of, instead of saying "say cheese," he says "say n-word." And the whole point of him saying that wasn't that the joke was him saying the n-word. The joke was to see how Tana would actually react to him saying that. If she had just said, wow, that wasn't funny at all, you're a terrible human being, she would have completely destroyed him in every single facet because, yeah, him saying saying N-word isn't really all that funny. But what was funny was the fact that she heard it, freaked out, ran away, and then had people proceed to kick i out of the meet and greet. And that's what ultimately what ended up being shown in the content cup that he had made a few years ago. That's funny, right? And that's actually entertaining. The fact that Master Uwe just has a song saying Adolf Hitler is my N-word, there's no joke to that. There's no there's no punchline. There's no anything. There's nothing funny about him having that in the song at all. It, like, there's literally just nothing to it. There's nothing funny about it. It's just him saying that, and then that's the joke. And then he has another picture on his Twitter where he shows a picture of him hanging out with his friend who just so happens to be his token black friend. It's another content creator, a man like Isaac, and he's basically saying, I'm not racist, I have a black friend, I don't condone hate speech, and he also it says in his like apology for falling off video that he doesn't hate other ethnicities and people of color and stuff like that and yada yada. And I'm not really sure why he thinks having a token black friend completely exonerates him of any at all racism in any way, because it doesn't, right? Just because you have a black friend doesn't mean you still can't get hate for saying the n-word that like that doesn't they exonerate you from any criticism for you saying the word at all that's ridiculous people have also been sharing around this other video that he posted a while ago where basically the punchline is you don't have to sneak up behind a young girl to sexually assault her if she's blind if she is young and blind you won't have to sneak up from behind yeah that's pretty much it that's the joke that's the punchline the punchline is that you're gonna commit sexual assault on a young girl who also is blind and you don't have to do it from behind because of the fact that she's blind he's just known for saying a lot of really dark humor ish stuff but it's just it's not funny there's nothing funny about him saying this there's something funny about him saying that there's nothing funny about the content that he's making so far and i'm not really sure what's gonna happen from here on out i'm not sure why he's so confused as to why people are genuinely upset with him with saying the things that he's saying. I'm not really sure where the confusion is. The confusion is the fact that you're saying the word and then you're doubling down and saying, oh, but I didn't do anything wrong. There's nothing bad with me using this word. I'm not a bad person. I don't condone hate speech and racism and all that stuff, despite the fact that you keep talking about it, keep mentioning it, and keep defending yourself for saying these things. I'm not sure why you're going to continue to keep defending this, but you're probably going to. For all I know, you're probably gonna end up finding this video and you're probably gonna leave a comment and I'm just gonna say it. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care what you have to say to me. You're not funny. The stuff that you're saying isn't funny. There's no joke. There's no punchline. And I'm not sure why you're confused as to why you're getting criticism from a lot of people, but it's going to continue to keep on happening for however long you decide to keep on doing this. And it's really not a surprise that your TikTok and YouTube previously got banned before. I think your TikTok is still banned, but... I guess lucky for you, your, your YouTube is still up, so you're still going to be able to upload content. And from what I've seen, you've just been spam uploading a whole bunch of stuff saying stupid ass shit. And I guess the joke's on me because I guess you're still doing pretty decently well. You still get some decent views, even though you definitely aren't getting the same amount of views that you were getting before. But again, maybe the joke is on me. Uh, that's besides the point. That's pretty much all I have to say about the situation. That's pretty much all I have to say towards Master Uguay. You're not funny, dude. Go move on and do something different with your life or just make better content. And then maybe you'll stop getting hate. Anyways, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. Turn on bell notifications so you don't miss another video. I will see you guys in the next one. And don't forget, don't say the N-word because I guess I have to remind people not to do that. Uh, and don't go after minors, by the way. That's pretty much it. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>